Hi, I'm Anthony Bourdain. The main sustenance in the film, which is called Soylent Green, is a bland, wafer-like concoction that the characters in this movie live on because there isn't much alternative. The population has risen so high there just isn't enough food to go around. So a crispy substance called Soylent Green is created to help sustain the masses. But despite that premise, when you watch the movie, you'll see there are a few scenes that actually show what great meals are all about. The film stars Charlton Heston as a cop investigating the murder of a rich man played by the great Joseph Cotton in a bit part. Before leaving the scene of the crime, which is this rich guy's apartment, Heston confiscates some rarely seen real food, like beef and actual produce. He brings it home to his longtime friend, played by Edward G. Robinson, and nothing here is taken for granted. There's an absolute appreciation for how wonderful plain, basic food can be. The crunch of a good apple, the crispness of a stalk of celery, the delicacy of a plain old steak. No frills, no pretension. This same scene also shows how the shared experience of a great meal can really bring people together. The two characters barely say a word to each other, but their bond is strengthened by this fantastic meal they're sharing. The film was a huge hit in 1973, a time when sci-fi thrillers were all the rage. Here also, with Lee Taylor Young and Chuck Connors from 1973, Soylent Green. Soylent Green is people! Well, now we know. And honestly, isn't it all the more reason not to eat processed food? Charlton Heston may have been an Oscar winner in a big box office draw in Hollywood, but you know what his favorite food was? Peanut butter. Heston loved peanut butter so much, he was even a member of the Peanut Butter Hall of Fame.